North Korea's supreme commander moves his warplanes, bolsters his defenses along his east coast. Tonight, U.S. defense officials tell CNN MiG fighter jets, some equipped with missiles, have been spotted by satellites. It's seen as a response to American bombers and fighter jets who've just flown off North Korea's east coast. Patrolling further north of the DMZ than at any time this century, North Korea has threatened to shoot those planes out of the sky. And Pyongyang releases a propaganda video showing what that kind of encounter might look like, followed by a U.S. aircraft carrier in flames. President Trump's statements um, and the follow-up um, was a propaganda boon for them. Today, the president again warned of the consequences of a U.S. military option if Kim Jong-un strikes first or if there's intelligence that he's about to. If we take that option, it will be devastating. I can tell you that devastating for North Korea. He's acting very badly. He's saying things that should never, ever be said. And we're replying to those things. But tonight, there are new warnings about the president's own comments, his increasingly personal insults of Kim Jong-un recently. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself. Little Rocket Man. We can't have mad men out there shooting rockets all over the place. Those remarks prompted Kim to issue a rare personal statement with his own name on it, calling President Trump mentally deranged, a dotard. Experts warn to avoid losing face, Kim might feel he has to take this showdown beyond just words. A prominent defector in Seoul spoke to CNN. Kim Jong-un is a godlike figure. And if the godlike figure says such things to the U.S., it is not going to stay as words. It needs to be put into action. That's what makes this situation serious. Experts say Kim's been willing to kill to warn his rivals not to cross him. A former South Korean intelligence researcher told GQ magazine the murder of Kim's half-brother at Kuala Lumpur's airport this year was part of a master plan. He says Kim, quote, wanted to send a worldwide message by murdering Kim Jong-nam in this gruesome public way. Kim's regime denies ordering the hit. But tonight there's concern that President Trump might be painting Kim into a dangerous corner. My concern is that cumulatively this will all lead to some sort of horrible miscalculation where Kim doesn't take something seriously and he and he reacts or he thinks there's going to be a U.S. or they think he thinks that there will be a U.S. attack and he has a use or lose situation where he lobs the first nuclear weapon. This is no news to most South Koreans who have long become immune to North Korea threats. But many experts around the world are now voicing their opinions on how North Korea is unlikely to start a war it cannot win. This as many fear the 